Hey everyone, yeah, I, I know this is late, sorry, I, I had a lot to do today, but, uh, okay, just jumping right into the chapter, it picks up from last week of Yakuto telling a story to the others, and pretty much the only other one he convinces to help him are is Hani, but the others pretty much say no, we're still not going going to help you. Although, once again, in Makoto's case, I'm definitely getting more and more of the vibe. Her reasons for not joining Yakuto just yet are simply she wants Yakuto to prove himself. Prove that killing God is actually possible. That it isn't going to be them just throwing themselves at an enemy that will very likely kill them with a, with a flick of his finger. Like, Makoto needs Yakuto to prove to her that th there's not only a weakness to defeat God, but also that there's a strategy to do it. And credit where it's due... I do love that Majima is kind of addressing this obvious element in the room because, as we've seen, very every attempt seen seen it up to this point, every attempt Yakuto has made so far, even to just gather intel on God, has done nothing but ended in absolute failure. Like he hasn't actually proven he has a way or means to truly defeat God, or that he's even capable of doing it. And that's what look at Makuto, Mikoto is looking for out of Yakuto to see if he's actually capable or if he actually has has the will if he actually has has the power has the power necessary to do so because right now the only thing yakuto's got going for him in terms of like wanting to defeat god is the resolve to do so that's the only thing but resolve isn't enough in order to defeat an enemy you actually have to have a f in order to defeat someone as powerful as god you need an actual strategy an actual plan you you, you can't just go rushing in there like 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 sack can't just go rushing in there saying, let's defeat God. No, you need an actual strategy. Otherwise, you're just kind of going to die. <laughs> um, but now, once we make it... But with that said, once we make it to the library, we learn the we learn the cat girl's identity. Her name is, is, is Alessia, and she has the black dragon root, which, yeah, I'll get to in a, in a moment here. But one of the even more hilarious reveals, I guess, is that Alessia... Is also is also Chaco the little bird, and I'll be honest, this second reveal feel felt a little too random. Like it's it's one of those times where I can see how this reveal probably was supposed to work in Mashima's head, but using it as a gag kind of makes it weirdly underwhelming. Like it's like really that that's it. That's from Chaco's big secret is, is that she's this this cat girl. Okay, Mashima, like, I'm, sh I'm sure there might be more to it down the line in the future the more we explore Z Z Alessia's character, but it's like, really, that, 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 was, that, was all, that was all Chaco, that's all we get from of who Chaco was, huh? Okay, I, I get it, Mashima, although, I guess you could say this was Mashima's way of trying to lighten the, lighten the mood for more for the more intriguing reveal, which is that Alessia's power is, is rooted in that of black wizardry, so... Yeah, let's get the obvious out of the way first. If there is going to be any connections to Zeref in this series, then I think it's going to be more be a very loose connection. For example, I don't think Mashima will have any like direct references to Zeref popping up in this series, but I think what we will get is a more of a deeper dive into the lore of black of black magic itself and possibly how that can be used as a means to defeat God, or even maybe it'll be revealed there. There's possible tie between black magic and the black dragon clan because Alessia seems to know a lot more about Yakuto th than she lets on so like it it feels like that there is something to kind of there is something to kind of explore here whether it's to do with defeating god or with Yakuto and the whole black dragon thing but outside of that I'm I'm not gonna lie I'll, like a lot of this chapter felt like a bit of again a bit of a decompressor and Mashima just taking the opportunity to indulge in his usual shenanigans, because outside of making it to the library, like, the worst threat of this chapter was just Yakuto's group dealing de dealing with a group of bullies. Although, one little subtle bit of story progression I do like, I liked, is we see that Saru had overheard what that group, what, 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 what Yakuto and his, what Yakuto's group was talking about earlier in the chapter, so... It'll be interesting to see what he does with that knowledge and information because, again, like I said, it, it does kind of, it's already feeling that it's pushing him more in that Aizawa territory of being this sort of very strict teacher, but one who could potentially help aid them in the future. Like, the, the fact that he's he doesn't even do or say anything, he's just, like, listening in on their conversation intently, yeah, it is feeling like this he could be a potential ally in the future. 
Um, but who knows? Uh, with that said, though, Ryzen, Makoto, and Hien get to talk in, well, Yakuto's group is in the library, and Ryzen mentions how someone went missing during the exam, with Makoto jumping in, wondering if, if the bell, the, 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 I think, is still underground, and I'm not gonna lie, with the reveal of this new character, this, reveal of this new threat, this new character, It'll be interesting to see how Mashima is going to play this, because that, that reveal is clearly setting up a, a B-plot for Makoto's group, but is it going to be strictly a solo adventure that will tie back into the main plot some point later down the line after its result, or is it going to somehow tie into what's going on with Makoto's group in the immediate in, in, in the immediate situation. That, that's my big question. Like, I'm assuming it's the latter, but it would be kind of cool if this was just a solo adventure for Makoto's group right now. Because one thing, as much as I'm loving this series, one thing I feel this series is lacking right now is that Makoto's group feels like the odd group out in terms of character development. And just in and just how there's a lack of insight into who these characters are. Like, we, we, we do get a little bit of... Ryzen's backstory early on in the in the series, but I still don't know jack about Hien. So again, I'm hoping this B plot kind of addresses that. It gives it gives like Hien and even Makoto a little bit a little bit more time to shine, a little bit of of fleshing out of the characters because right now like Hien, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just not really on the guys as as much as he's kind of as much as his his refusal to help Yakuto is good for Yakuto's character development. I still don't know jack shit about Hien, and I, I kind of want to know more about Hien. Like, what, what, what is this guy's deal exactly? But, uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I got for this review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe for my Twitter, Analyst Crunchyroll, which should be spell. Hit the subscribe button, and just share the video around, guys. Dark Night, signing off. Later, everyone.